And that's why I love watching my blues. My blues. My blues is a copyright by Twitter user at Kim Fall. That's U L, not two L's. Hey, recappers, what's up? Welcome to another special edition of the G Cap Recap. My blues. Where I basically uh, order a bunch of blues. And then I open them in front of you and, and share my uh, physical media purchases with y'all. And they're not all like recent movies, they're all old movies and it's just, it's stuff I'm buying. So um, before I get started, yeah, if you haven't yet, um, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel, that little button down there. Yeah, you could also follow me on my uh, social media accounts on Instagram and Twitter, at GCAP Recap. I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna keep these a little bit more brief than, than usual reviews, so. Um, get into it, get my, my trusty blade. Get ready for the trigger warning. Oh, hear that? Oh. Sensory overload, anticipation. Hear the crinkle, hear the crackle. That's, that's storing my bliss. So, I do know what movie I'm going to review, and obviously you do too because you see it there, but Summer School from 1987. Uh, <laughs> Summer School um, uh, featured uh, Mark Harmon, uh, who was, uh, you know, at his peak, a, a, a lead man in major motion pictures. Uh, this movie was directed by Carl Reiner. Uh, this was done by a competent director, but yeah, this came out during the summertime. So let's watch Summer School. Not winter school. <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, the, the, the cast in it's amazing. It's a funny story. It's just, it's, it's a very, very, very funny movie. I, I don't think I've met anyone who dislikes this movie. It's just a fun time. Cast, like I said, is awesome. Uh, Mark Harmon's in it. Also, Kirstie Alley is in it as, uh, you know, the, the teacher that kind of helps him out. It's a, the love interest. Uh, there's also uh, Shawnee Smith from uh, Saw fame. She's in it as well. I'm trying to think who else. Oh gosh, Dean Cameron. You know, you all know by this point that I love Dean Cameron. Um, but yeah, this is I think this is the first movie I saw him in was was Chainsaw. Chainsaw was like the greatest character, you know? Um, him and Gary Riley's uh, little um, slacker horror duo, Courtney Thorne Smith. So before she tore it up on Melrose Place, Kelly Jo Minter, who was also I mean, she's she was in a lot of movies in the uh, the eighties as well. Uh, she was the Alice's uh, main friend in Nightmare on Elm Street 5. So Mark Harmon plays basically the gym teacher who, um, you know, he lives on the beach. He's, he's basically like a slacker beach bum. He's a teacher because he gets his summers off and, you know, he just kind of chills out and relax, not taking life too seriously. You know, that laid back kind of uh, uh, stereotypical character. And somehow is roped into having to and forced to teach summer school. And he, he was devastated. Um, but you know what? He, he just figures he's going to try to make the best of a bad situation because he's, he's given, like, you know, total degenerates. But, you know, he starts to have this thing with Kirstie Alley, who, you know, just kind of sheds a little spotlight on him that, hey, you know, you're not, um, you know, you're, you, know you, get, you take life a little bit more serious. You know, you should be, you know, really helping these kids so they can have, they can have better, uh, better life styles are gonna you know you you're you're molding them you know so you want to have better lifestyles as adults and 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 give them the most out of life especially because now they got to dedicate their summer so they've already wasted a whole year and now they're going to waste summer school like a summer too like you might as well do something like useful to help them shoop decides to say to all the kids listen i i need you to at least pass he's trying to impress kirstie alley right he needs them that he needs them all to pass and what he does is, um, you know, they're, they're, I'm sorry, he need, he need to pass summer school. Like they need the, their final test or whatever they need to, they need to pass. So um, what he does is he, he strikes all these deals with them that if they do well, come to class, you know, pay attention, do their projects, pass at the end of the year, at the end of the, the summer term, you know, he will, uh, he'll do something for them in return. So, you know, um, Chainsaw, for example, wants to have an in-class screening of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, uh, Kelly Jo Minner's character, she can't pass driver's ed, and she doesn't have a car or anything, and she, she's a terrible driver, so he's going to help her uh, learn how to drive. I'm trying to think what else is there. This, this does have some special features. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. This one has commentary by uh, by Carl Reiner and Mark Harmon. Inside the teacher's lounge, it's probably like a featurette. The yearbook, photo gallery. Wow. Of all the recent movies I've bought, this one has uh, this one has a pretty good amount of special features, and this is uh, this is a DVD, but it's still my blues. I need my blues in my life, bro. Gotta have my blues. Uh, and now I have this, so I'm super excited about this. So, uh, trigger warning. I'm gonna open it now. I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside. Hope it's not shattered. Put it into here. My trusty blade. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm getting better, guys. I am getting better. Look at that. Let's open her up. So I've been holding it up the whole time. Don't need that. The Life's a Beach Edition. When is this coming out on blue? I need blues in my life. I, I mean, I, I, I got this for dirt freaking cheap. With new features, would definitely turn it into a real mobile. Right, so, so here's our cover. Here's the back. Look at that. Look at that sexiest man alive. Three or four years or whatever running straight. Three peenings of sexiest man alive. Look at that smile, Mark Harmon. Yeah. I love this movie, guys. It's really funny. I'm sure everybody on here is probably that's watching this has seen it. But if you haven't, please, please check it out. I mean, it is on TV all the time. And if you, as long as you can get past the commercials, there's not a lot of stuff where they, you're gonna delete it out. It's some good, some good clean fun. It's really funny. You know, it's in good condition, but I just almost just broke it right now. Jeez. There you go. It's a, it's a DVD. So you're just gonna get silver. Still my blue. My blues. I'm excited. I'm excited to finally have this. I, I had it back on VHS a very, very long time ago. And it was one of those movies that was just always on all the time. So I just, I never bought it. Cause I'm like, I'm, I'm always catching it. You know, but I mean, it's one of my favorite movies ever. I should have owned this. Shame on me. If you like this movie, if you um, dislike this movie, if there's anything you want to talk about uh, concerning this movie, Leave it in the comment section. Uh, you know, go seek me out on social media and uh, we'll converse. And guys, like I always say, anytime you watch the GCAP recap, you always have a seat at the bar. I'll see you next time. Sit, Koopy, sit. Good dog.